Hey, it's Philip Morrow from Austin, Texas, and I'm back to talk about my favorite simulation enhancements that simplify study setup and improve performance. For instance, the internal frame of the NEMO submarine is a completely welded structure, and these welds are represented by bonded contacts, which is the default for any touching faces. Solve time for this extremely common setup is now over 25% faster than in 2021. The submarine also utilizes a more complex hand wheel design to close the hatch before diving. In order to seal properly, at least 500 newtons of contact force is needed between the latch fingers and the retaining ring. That's about 112 pounds in freedom units, so I want to make sure the hatch design provides enough mechanical advantage that it can be sealed easily by your average submariner. It's pretty common to take advantage of the symmetry in geometry like this by cutting the model down to a third of the size, but I can take this a step further by removing the tie rod completely and replacing it with a virtual connector. The linkage rod connector accepts either cylindrical faces or vertices to represent rod ends. The end conditions can be defined as fully rigid, pivotal, and even spherical. Here I'm using cylindrical faces and spherical end conditions, and I can even choose from several cross-sectional shapes and define the section dimensions, all without having to spend the time to mesh the tie rod itself. And speaking of meshing, the software now defaults to the blended curvature-based mesher. This mesher does the best job of representing the geometry with the fewest number of elements, and in 2022, it also allows mesh control values outside of the maximum and minimum global size range, meaning you can locally refine or coarsen the mesh to just about any size for the ideal balance of solve time and accuracy. Now I only want to have to input about 16 and a half newton meters of torque to the steering wheel, and I'm cutting that value in thirds given the symmetry. After the analysis runs, I can review the shear, axial, and bending loads of the virtual linkage rod, just like I can any connector, but viewing the contact reaction force developed between the latch finger and the retaining ring is really what I'm after. Multiplying this contact force by 3 is less than the 500 newtons requirement to properly seal the hatch, so my options here are either make a design change or drown. So let's opt for design change and try moving the connecting rod attachment just 10 millimeters further away from the pivot, effectively increasing the lever arm. This should add additional contact force without requiring additional input torque. Now this small change increased the contact force by 38%, and we're now safely past the 500 Newton minimum and no longer have a single use submersible vehicle. With SOLIDWORKS Simulation 2022, your simulation tools are more powerful and efficient than ever before.